Hey everyone, and welcome to the continuation of our series of Hearts of Iron 4, the uh, Polish something or other game, I don't know what really to call it yet, other than, uh, I don't know, someone suggested uh, Poland can have space, that's always a good one, but until then it's just going to be called Poland, we'll figure it out from there. So in the meantime, we're going to continue our strategy here, we need to build up our troops, in fact we should probably kick off a few more, they're not really progressing anywhere, do I just not have the manpower? Eh, yeah. so we'll add the manpower. Manpower will come with time. Not much I can do about that yet. Um, that might be bugged slightly. Oh, it's mostly the equipment. Oh, they need equipment before they can do anything. So, with that, we just need more equipment to go around. So with that said, we're actually going to drop... There's not much we can drop, actually. We're just stuck waiting. So, we're gonna have to just take what we have and uh, keep working with it. Man, it's gonna be a tough battle to win going this way. Alright, so we do have our new research slots. So we're actually gonna pause. Anti Kami term. Do I want to deal with that? Well, I can either piss off the Russians and appease the Germans, or I can piss off the Germans and then that's it. The Russians don't care. So, let's hold this off for a second. We got that. So now we want to start strengthening the Polish state. So we'll get that rolling. What is your opinion of me? Not great. What is your opinion of me? Also not great. So if we join, we at least buy ourselves time with the Germans. If we refuse, we have to deal with potential of Germans and also Russians. Russians are probably gonna be tied up with Japanese maybe? Probably not though. So we need to plan around that. To be fair, we'll probably take over Germany. That was the commie term. Hmm. This is actually tough. I don't know. You know what? I do want, I'm going to leave it up to chance. I have a uh, set of die next to me actually. So we'll just roll a six sider. Evens, join, odds, refuse. Ready? Odds, refuse. That was easy. When in doubt. And there goes that idea. Alright, so we refuse the pack. We need to do another research tech. You're in 36, about to be in 37. Is there anything that I can grab that's worth it? Anti-tank guns, perhaps? What about here? Oh, I might as well grab this. That's right. We'll do that. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we'll keep going. Um, can I change my draft limits? Yes. So I can. We'll go to limited conscription. No, actually, we don't need to yet. That's, that's not a priority. Changing our economy might be eventually. We can't really do anything until world tension goes up. So until it goes up, we're kind of stuck. Alright, well. We'll sit as is, hope for the best. What is going on with our construction? Uh, we do have that gun. It'll be the last one. And then we'll kick off more... Um, civilian factories and then it'll kick back off there and we'll keep rotating down we'll just kind of swap them as we go so now I'm hurting for iron yeah I really really need to start trading here but it's just not an option because I don't have the civilian factories to trade with I mean I'll I'll still be able to build we'll see I might have to trade here momentarily I'm you know what it is what it is. We need the steel, if nothing else. Alright, so there goes two. And that gets us our steel. Due to lack of convoys. Well, I'm at least getting partial. So that's a plus. How many is that knocking me down? Eh, not too bad. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and burn through all the... Well, I don't have the... Uh, 
I don't believe I have the... Which one to call these guys to help? Convoys. Building one a year. Which is not many. Seeing as I have... Roughly next to none. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least I'm somewhat reasonable more on uh, my iron. So at least we're producing these two a little more efficiently. Even this is getting a little more efficient. Two a week. You, however... Not much I can do about you. I'm doing the best I can. We're filling at 40 a day. So, 40 a day... Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to take... Take a while. <laughs> well... Whatever. We'll make the best of it. We're still... We're at least starting to slowly research down to our Polish uh, revanchism. So I think what we're going to do is probably do the militarism first. Yeah. Well, that's military factories. Faster build. And that is recruitable population and army experience. Well... We need the militarism to do the revanchism, so we'll do militarism first, then revanchism. Then Poland first. Then between the seas. Okay, yeah, we got our game plan going. We'll make it work. We're just trying to beat the clock here in terms of what we can do. Because we don't want the... We don't want this to end. Not yet. We want that to drag on as long as possible. Because the longer that drags on, the actual better it is for me. So, because everyone's tied up with other stuff. Man, if I could steamroll in here, that'll be great. And then you'll go around like that, and that should collapse it. I think. And then we'll get you guys going up here, take that. And we'll go here and here. Alright, construction finished. Sweet success. Oh, sweet. This is done. Alright, we gotta pause real quick so we can select the next thing. Militarism, go. And then new research. Wow, I'm getting hit up on the G uh, SoundCloud. Okay, cool. No one uses or cares about SoundCloud. 37, right? Yeah, I'm 37. So I can go with the next level of uh, concentrated uh, industry. So that sounds like a plus there. So resource, resource resource. That's a while away. So yeah, we'll eventually work our way down there. In the meantime, we need to definitely get our economy rolling a lot harder. There's not a whole lot I can do until... Well... To be honest, building these civilian factories is kind of scary. It might not pan out for me very well. How is my if trade going? Steel is doing the best it can. Because I lack the convoys. Well, we'll just we'll just have to make the best of it. Probably can uh, quite honestly get rid of the planes. Now the planes aren't. No, they're taking oil, which otherwise isn't being used by much. So the planes are fine. I mean, I'm not really building many. This is gonna be tough. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be really tough. It might not work out for me very well. We're trying though. I didn't read anything about how to properly build my um, my factories according to this what you want to call it um, this strategy. But we'll see. So they have 30 to 70 planes. They have eight. To t so they're all roughly about the same. And he has the most planes. So we might need to swap our air power down to the south. Yeah, gonna have to swap our air power probably down to the south to help out. It's going to be a little harder than these guys, who I'm just probably going to steamroll through, to be quite honest. So let's go ahead and transfer you guys down to here. You guys can go there and there. And then we'll send you to the Southern Balkans. And you two also to the Southern Balkans. And you all just do what you're gonna do best. Alright, so that's all set. Should take care of this area. And we'll eventually work our way down. Man, we're gonna be fighting on two different sides here. Can I buy my time with anything? They're still dealing with the Great Purge. So that's good. 
That means they're not too overly excited to come after me yet. Where am I on their list? I am... Where? They changed it around. Since the last time I actually played the Soviets. Uh, claims on Poland. So they're down quite a way. They gotta go anti-fascist instead of anti-capitalist. Which, again, going with, um... What you wanna call it? Going with historical focus, they honestly should. We'll see where that... Where and if that happens. Because these guys are going army innovations, so they'll go treaty with USSR. Then there. So they got a while to go before they get to Danzig. So I'm not too too worried about it right this moment. We're, we're still pretty good. Alright, so what do we want to do here? We're in 37. It's not a lot to grab. I can get anti-tank guns, but I think that's like ahead of what I need to get. Because quite honestly... Alright, well, let's start doing those to try and better our resources then. We'll probably get the anti-tank guns eventually here. It's gonna have to happen. Just not this moment. Right, so modify my government. I can get stuff. Agreed. I can. Well, I'm, not, I'm so far ahead, I probably might as well get at least something. It's trade, it's military factory construction, dockyard construction. Let's start getting the theorist, shall we? Where do we want... Calvary now. Let's get the theorist. That will help. Alright, now we can start going with revanchism. Hindenburg disaster. So he's going to start getting us some daily experience and also improves our research time on the doctrine, which is good. I'm trying to keep a little bit of a uh, man or um, political power in reserve for when I eventually need to change our um, conscription and our economy. Our economy will bump up as high as we can the moment that we get the option to. Still can't do anything there. So I'll slowly, anytime I get up to like 400, I guess I'll probably change it. Also, I'm totally talking like to my monitor in front of me instead of to my mic right here. So let me move my microphone over a bit. So, whoops, sorry about that one. All right, so it's a lot of a lot of this is plotting and planning at the moment. Not a lot of actual. What do you want to say? I don't know. Not a lot of stuff I can actually do just yet. Can I build? I can. I have 50 planes. That's pretty substantial. So we'll build these guys. You guys go up here, and then engage in this. So that'll at least give me some air power up in the north. So that'll be good there. I don't even need to worry about phase two yet. I really just need to get to this point in which we're dealing with the uh, wars against these countries. All right, so we've got a battle plan finished. So we might as well go with the next one. Don't see why not. And we'll keep swapping around as we go. We'll keep an eye out on these things. And of course, we need to keep an eye out on our political power Again, I could swap to fascism, but I'm not ready to just yet. It's not something I'm willing to commit to. A hundred percent. At this moment. It's an idea. I included it in the thumbnail. But I need to stay neutral to kind of gain the power from these guys. Uh, protecting, or uh, whatever you call it. Uh, man, I can't remember what any terms are. Uh, guaranteeing other countries. Also, in the uh, other episode, I was talking about um, what it's called when troops are, you know, when you start to bleed troops over a certain territory because you have too many in an area. I still can't remember what it was. I remembered it earlier today while I was at work. I was like, oh, that's it. And now I can't remember. Um, yeah. I don't know why I can't remember it. Also, Republican Spain, totally doing a pretty decent job by the look of it. So they. They are currently 20, so 30 to 55 versus 25 to 30. So yeah, they they definitely have these guys that number. They lost their opportunity to pocket right here. If they'd pocketed that, they would have swept over, captured that, been good to go. Instead, now some troops got pocketed here. This is pocketed. This is alternatively pocketed as well. So pretty much, national Spain is done. Which is a good thing, but hopefully they last a while, buying me time to get what I need going, my revanchism. Once I get that going, I'm going to be 
good to go. I started my claims. Oh man, the world's gonna be good. Everything will be good. This, however, needs to pick up the pace. So we will... Ooh, that is full. That's good. Oh, a million. Earhart, down for the count. Should I bump up a little more weaponry? No, well, it's, it's actually producing pretty fast. 59. Let's... How much do we have? How about that? Uh, supply equipment, we're at 100 surplus. So that's going pretty well. That's going pretty well, too. Alright, well... And that's at 100 surplus. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to spend any yet. I really don't. Alright, we definitely need to build more of these guys, though. That'll be a lot. Uh, Alright, so let's pause. So we got our revanchism. So we're going to go ahead and, again, start working down the Poland first to between the seas. So we'll do that. Poland first. And then Soviet Union has completed their purges. So that's good. They're doing air renovation. They're doing military school. So they want collectivist propaganda. Okay, it's what they typically go through. Because that research slot's nice. But, I don't know. I've seen this one too. I don't know. I Again, I haven't played the Soviets in a while, so I don't know what's the better route anymore. It's been quite a while. We only need to worry about ourselves. I can't, uh... I can't, um, boost my party because I don't have one exactly. Oh man, if I was a Democrat and I them into Democratic states, that'd be kind of hilarious. Oh, uh, Marco Polo Bridge incident. Good to know. So on starts the beginning of the Japanese-Chinese, uh, war. So that's going to be something to worry about there. That might pick up the pace. Ooh! They reinforce their uh, little thing there. Well, if they trade back and forth for a while, I'll actually not be in a bad position. I'll get my revanches in pretty quick. I still need to wait till it's 10%. It's at 5. Ooh, so they're sending volunteers now. Excellent. So they're going to start fighting back a little. We'll see how this goes. We've got to keep an eye on it, obviously. Um, we definitely... I don't know if we have a dog in the hunt yet. I really don't think we do. I think it's pretty much whatever one happens, we'll be happy with. Alright, and we're almost up to 400 again for political power, so let's think about what we want to get next. Um, I could upgrade my conscription. We do have a large number because of our, um, what you want to call it, our militarism. So that helped out a lot. Who would I want next? Can't do this. Oh, I can do early mobilization. So that's a lot better. We're going to go ahead and do that. That'll help our economy. Our computing is done. So we can't get anything else there yet, because that's 38. What else can we do? We can actually get this guy. Get both of them rolling at the same time. I don't know. It'll work for the time being. Alright, so that's actually good that we got the uh, that one thing taken care of. Alright, let's see here. So we're going to get revanchism. We changed up our economy, so that's a plus. Down to 250. So now, go back into here. What would I want next? Would I really want to add these? So it's industrial research time, electronics research time. Either words, kind of a trade off. Artillery, motorization, and small arms. Small arms is, I'd argue, is a little better because there's so many more of them. Planes don't care about, ships don't care about, tanks don't care about. Military staff. Do I want a chief of the army? Division attack is nice. That's going to help us because we're going to be super aggressive. So we might want to do that next. Anything else in here? No, not yet. What about these guys? Again, eventually we'll do that. But in the meantime, any of these other ones good? Oh, well, he might not be bad. I might get him next depending on when I get up there and see what we're at. Alright, so that completed. Now we have a little bit of time. Don't need synthetics. Don't Can't do anything there. So, back to Doctrine. Doctrine's doing its thing. Artillery. It's 39. We're not even to 38 yet. Oh, I can go ahead and upgrade our... Oh, that's a year ahead of time. Well. These are 38, so that's almost a year ahead of time. We'll go ahead and get these rolling. A little bit ahead of time isn't too, too bad. I don't want to be, like, more than a half year ahead. More than a half year, you're kind of... Kind of throwing it all away. 
Alright, what are you doing, Reich? You're doing air innovation still. What the hell's air innovation? Oh, it's like all the way over here. Okay, gotcha. Eh. Okay, good for you. And you guys are doing what again? Schools. Okay. What am I doing? Poland first. What is France doing? Levy and Mass. Oh! They're going, uh... Offensive. No? Defensive. Sorry. Defensive right in front of me. Okay. So they'll eventually hit Grand uh, Batteries, etc, etc. What about you? Mediterranean Bastion? Okay. Doesn't help me any. No really idea what you're doing. Uh oh. And there's that war. There's the tension I needed. So, with that said, they're a little bit ahead of schedule. Oh no! That is exactly what I needed. Now I can start um, doing all my justifications. Alright, so now that we're paused, let's start our Justify War goal. Conquer. I don't know. Let's conquer um, the closest one. Why would you. Is there any benefit to doing both? It adds more power and takes a few more days. But is it. But by doing that, that's a lot of time. So by doing that, is that like the same as fabricating claims? Like it costs me more to take? I don't know. We're going to start with that one. Justify War Goal against you. We'll do the large one. Roughly the same time frame. And same with you. Tar 2. And then Romania. Just for war goals against you. And we'll want, I guess, your capital? That is Montenegro. Yes, okay. That'll work. That'll get everything going. Alright, so thank you, Japan, for getting uh, everything rolling. I have just caused all hell to break loose with my justifications. I might cause... I'm gonna have to watch this and hope that no um, guarantees. Yep, France guaranteed Romania, which is not what I wanted. So they argue that that should be a game restart. However, I don't think I'm going to execute the game restart. I think I'll just go at it and hope that maybe Germany deals with France, or I might have to deal with France myself. That is an option. They did lower the world. As long as Britain doesn't do it, I think I'm fine. Because France... They're not going to trudge all the way across Germany. I don't think they're going to do anything about it. I think we're probably fine so far. Now, the last thing I want is them to actually jump a war. Cause then, oh no, because they're not allied. Okay, as long as they don't, as long as they don't hop in the allies, we're probably fine. Where is that? It is. I'm going to look past my microphone. Factions is F9. So they're still unaligned. So I can easily go jump them, and France, I don't think, will do much. So we might, we might just be okay. Alright, so where are we now? We're in October 37, so we can start looking at things that are 38. So we could probably start doing that. Go ahead and jump on that one. The rest of this should finish up a relatively decent amount of time. Alright, so that is good to know. Well, I'm not getting all the steel I need, but I'm getting a decent amount. How have these guys... Oh! I have the supplies, finally. Starting to finally have the supplies, I should say. Alright, so they're building up. And it's something I need to be aware of. They're very built up. I think they're probably ready for us, too. We'll see. These guys, however, there's not much they can do. So we'll sweep through here. You, my friends, I might need to stick you over here because they might come down. 
We'll see what we can do. It's going to be basically three, four separate wars with potential of France joining, so that might be still a fourth war. I think they might only send reinforcements? I don't know. Yeah, that sucked. That was the one thing I was hoping that wouldn't happen, was uh, France guaranteeing. But, you know what, like I said, we're not going to throw away our time, um, what you want to call it, restarting. We're going to take it as is. They argue you're supposed to restart here. They said something about do 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 um, which is everything is done. If for some reason Romania gets guaranteed restart your game, if others get guaranteed cancel justifications. Alright, so yeah, they say to restart it. I'm not too worried about it. Hold on, I'm going to have to scroll as I get my uh, OBS back up. They're saying to restart. I'm saying, you know what? Can't always count on the AI doing exactly that, so I gotta. I'm gonna play it aggressively, and we're gonna see what happens. And if it does not work out, then it does not work out, and I fail, and I have to uh, make up for it in other ways. So I think that's what we're gonna go with is just you know, sucking it up and making it work. All right, so we almost have a decent amount of. So if I edit these guys, what is going up? Um, they're upsetting the uh, pressure balance. Okay, so that's excellent. My own faction. So now I can do whatever I want. Treat with Lithuania. So I, I could party with Lithuania if I cared. Fanaticism, which gives me national unity of 5%, which might not be bad. 80% would not be a bad thing at all. Now, I can go liberalism, internationalism, oh, nope, so all this is now bypassed, because I can't do this, cannot have this and Poland first, which means I can't have internationalism, which means I can't have authoritarianism, and I can't have liberalism, because they both require that. So next thing I could do is defensive focus, if I really wanted to, which gives me military factory construction speed, or I could start going down the prepare for the next great war, which, to be honest... Ooh, do I want to do this? Start preparing for the next great war. Go for it. Alright, so as we were saying, if we were to add artillery, it's going to cost us 36 artillery pieces per troop. So 36 times 40. So 30 times 40, basically, we're looking at 120. We can afford to. We could actually afford to. So let's do that, actually. I wish it would tell me how much it's going to cost. So there we go. Let's see here. Um, so manpower goes up 500. Artillery goes up. We have 350. And Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. I did my math completely wrong. I was missing a zero. So... We will be shorted 800 if we do that. And this is just one. Our combat width does go up, so we're over 20. What happens if we don't do anything? Our combat width is 18, so we kind of want it. Or do we want infantry? Because we want um, 8. We currently have 9. Could I replace it with artillery? Nah, it doesn't really do much to do that. Okay, well, we're playing around with it. Can I add anything in here? We can add engineers. Or I could add support artillery. If I add support artillery, what will that do? Well, okay. So engineers give me more defense, more breakthrough. They negate my soft attack. Okay, so the big thing is they negate my soft attack. So my soft attack goes up though? Really? So my soft attack goes up, my organization goes down. Supply use goes up, my entrenchment goes up, my support... I wouldn't be at a shortage, but that's not that bad, that goes up quick enough. Um, again, that goes up quick enough, and that's fine. So my soft attack goes up to 57. Did my heart attack go up? It went from 9 to 10. 
even my breakthrough goes up to 34, whereas with artillery, 35 and 95. Wow. Okay. Yeah, artillery is a much better option, and we're still short a lot. Oh hey, these guys are ready. All right, we'll hang on to them for the time being. Probably gonna need them down there in the south. So who's your commander? Is he a? He's a 20 out of 20, right? Uh, no, he can support as many as he wants. Because he is a field marshal. Alright. So if you guys don't mind, get on that front line. And we're starting to get our wars up here. Alright, so we're at 30 minutes. So we probably can call it here shortly. Still mad about them guaranteeing. That's actually very irritating. So you're doing the army experience and heavy tanks. Alright, so you have not gone with Britain yet. That is good to know. What are you doing? You're doing air defense. You're doing. Oh, that's me. Tuh! You're doing Anschluss. You're doing workers, culture, and I don't know from there. All right, so we're at 38. Let's go ahead and grab that. Sure, we might as well do this. No reason not to. I mean, that's just so good. What are you doing? Preparing for or uh, prepare intervention. Ooh, so they can start to intervention and stuff. Hold on, so let's see what that does. Alright, so. Um, more than 25%. Okay, so that's basically allowing them to change up their marketing and everything else. Okay, good to know. Alright, Britain, what are you doing now? Radar. France is doing military factories. German Reich is doing air innovations again. You're doing nothing yet. Alright, I need to figure out what to do, and then we'll probably call it there. Do I want to do the defense, or do I want to do the standardization? I think that we will... Uh, probably um, go with um, good question I think I'll go with the uh, land doctrine or infantry weapons no we'll go this route so we can get the uh, mobilization because we need that for the medics and then we'll go the other route okay so we'll do that we will get our next thing that's 39 so that's way ahead can't do anything there can't do anything there and, yeah, I guess we'll just get anti-tank guns? Sure, we'll go with anti-tank guns. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Thank you everybody for coming out to this episode of our Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it as we are playing our way through an aggressive Poland. We're finally getting the ball rolling, so we'll see what starts to happen here now that we have our claims set. And, uh, well, to be quite honest, um... France are going to cause us a lot of issues. Alright, thanks everybody, and we will catch you, or I'll catch you next time.